All right, welcome back, everybody. We are en route to Costco, and then a short trip to Chipotle, and then I think we're gonna end it with Home Depot. So, what just happened there? <laughs> we completely didn't go on route. Where are we going? It looks like we're gonna have to make a U-turn here. So kind of interesting, just pulling out of that street, turned on FSD, and completely missed the navigation. So it's about 0.9 mile to Costco, four minutes, we're really close. I wanna navigate through the parking lot, test an auto park in there, and then we're gonna hop from Costco to Chipotle. Oh, we got a big tree in the road. Oh, it went right over it. Now we are still on 12.3.6. They have paused the 14.6 rollout, and I believe we're gonna probably see what, like a 14.7 or 14.8 pretty soon. They're also getting ready to send out 12.4 to employees, possibly over the weekend. And we are inching. I can see both sides. We are clear. Now we do have a Jeep coming up to the right. And a couple more. Truck and a car. Should be absolutely clear after this car. And let's go. So yeah, on that drive from Lake Las Vegas yesterday, it did really well. Not the best, but very, very good. It definitely helps. Ooh, my Mustang's spinning out around that corner. Must be a turbo four-cylinder. Looks like we're gonna be taking a left on Rome. We do have some speed bumps here. I believe there's a total of three, and then we're gonna pull it, be pulling into the back side of Costco. We'll route around to the traffic, and then we'll test out an auto park. Quite a bit, it's always been a little bit narrow on this lane, but today, not so bad. I wanna say a lot of times it heads straight for those double yellow. I hope you're having an amazing Sunday. All right, slow for speed bumps. Oop, little, little hot. We did slow, but we went in hot. See how it does on the next one. We do have a trash can next door as well. So definitely dial back the speed. Oh, so there was a comment on one of the videos yesterday about talking about the highway speeds, if you can control it. So on the highway, it's on a B11 stack. So basically you set your max speed and FSD will always try to get to your max speed, depend on traffic you have enough room. Now you can speed it up and you can slow it down manually. And again, beta will just try to get to that max speed with traffic flow. I hope that answers your question. I just saw it, your reply. All right, we pulling into the back. On B12 though, on the city streets, it on when you have it on the automatic set speed offset, it's controlling everything, the height limit, the load limit, everything. All right, pulling in. This is a Sunday. What time is it? About 11.30. Should have pretty good traffic here. Got cars pulling out, pedestrians going in, going out. How will FSD do today? Just love the visualization, and especially at Costco. You, one thing I like about the visualizations is if I'm sitting in like a light, at a light and I got it in full screen, or it does say autopilot navigation complete. I don't know why it says press accelerator or zoom. It never does anything when you press the accelerator. But yeah, so say you're sitting at a light, you can pull up the visualization. You can really see if there's any human beings near you, you know, if anyone's getting close to your car. All right, so this car's turned into the parking spot. We do have a car pulling out. FSD's kind of going around. Let's see how it how it when it sees this car all right it's gonna stop all right it is stopping very good so we we're kind of going around i don't know if that was the best behavior because now this one wants to get in there and we are in a bad position all right they're kind of they're okay so they're going to be taking an aggressive maneuver and fsd needs to stop i'm gonna give them the thumbs up just to pretend like they know what i'm doing so fsd got a little close there a little aggressive interesting I think human beta driver would have went around and been more aggressive and, and passed them or just stood behind 
Let's check our settings. So we do have an unassertive minimal lane changes on. On autopilot, we have the set speed offset turned on as well. This is for science, not for speed. We are just sitting here. Oh, we got a lot of carts. We got someone parked here getting ready to unload. We're going around. And what, oh, we're kind of wide there. Very good. Which way are we going? Okay, so we're, we're kind of at our destination now. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can find the auto park. Let's see if it takes us around the back. We have, we have another pedestrian here. I think it's just going to park us kind of like right here at the front. So let's go ahead and disengage. All right, they're loading up. Oh my gosh, cars are everywhere. So even human beta driver right there tried to go around me and then I'm trying to go around this car. Definitely a double fail. So for that one, I'm gonna give him an auto park right here in the air station. Let's see if we can make it in before traffic goes crazy. All right, stop, one, two, let's go. Come on, no road rage. Come on, auto park. We got about, we have one shot to, to nail this. I wonder if you press the accelerator, it'll speed up. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna press the accelerator. All right, so auto park completely canceled. Let's go ahead and go to another area just because we got road rage in here. All right. I had to test it. If you press the accelerator, will it speed up the parking maneuver? And that was a no. We do have some, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and one and two. So we do have a couple shopping carts there. You can kind of see it on the visualizations a little bit here as like a little, see if we can get in there. That would have been great if you could press the accelerator and speed up auto park. Oh, we're hesitating. Maybe it's all the carts. It's like, wait a minute. These are very wide spots here too at Costco, so no problem. Even this, this maneuver right now, I felt like this car passing us right now kind of got a little annoyed. I don't know, we need, to, we need to make this snappy. Navigate to Chipotle. So we got another quick one, half a mile. We're gonna get, see if we can get out of this parking lot. Let's put it in drive, charge up beta, and three, two, one. We're live, we're clear around, and let's go. We're gonna be taking a left out of here. Got quite a bit of traffic. Very slow and cautious. Almost a little slow for human style, because if you go this slow, you never really get out of here. You kind of get stuck. I think we can be a little more aggressive, but we're going to let FSD handle it. That's a nice little Bronco there. Clean. Probably because it's in black. I love black. All right, I'm going to goose it just a little bit, see if it'll kind of get us going a little bit out of here. All right, I hear people honking. I don't think that's for me. I'm going to go ahead and goose it again. Let's get it going. All right, we got our arrow on, and we're taking it right here. We are. So interesting that we didn't go up to the stop sign. I'm gonna give give it a little throttle as well because we're stopping again. Very hesitant in here. Hesitant again. We got some pedestrians, I'm gonna goose it again. Get it to go. It's kind of getting stuck in here. Not stuck, but it's to the point where it's doing two miles an hour. Got arrow on, more traffic. And now it's way behind the line. It cannot see anything. I think it's stuck for the pedestrian. I'm gonna inch it up. Throttle on, I'll throttle off. All right, we got it. some cars to the left. No traffic to the right yet. It's gonna be a difficult one. Just because even human driver, I have to be super aggressive to get out of here. All right, this guy's letting me in. I'm gonna push the throttle a little bit just to inch it out. And we are going, we cut off the F-150, perfect. We had plenty of room though. So they let us in. Again, I had to goose it to get some speed. I think we're good now. Costco parking lots are so fun. So 0.6 of a mile to Chipotle, four minutes. All right, we did a full stop, we're clear. We're going around. Kind of close to the curb, but we had good enough distance. Got 
Got some pigeons crossing the road. Uh, oh, it dodged the pigeon. Amazing. Sometimes those pigeons are just, they just get out there in the road. Don't feed the pigeons. I'll never leave. All right, we have a, a spot open. FSD's taking it perfect, or else we would have been stuck for a while. Now we got to get aggressive, move over to the left lane. Come on, FSD, get that blinker on. All right, here we go. We're changing lanes. No hesitation. Very good. A little late to change lanes, but not bad. And I think we're doing white rice, black beans, and steak today for the Chipotle bowl. This is kind of my breakfast. Blinker on. Merging in. Right, we don't have to stop here. Traffic yields to us. We've got no one left or right. The other day, it just came right through this intersection. Today, I felt it hesitate just a little when I saw the line. And we are getting close to the burrito loading zone. Let's pull in there, FSD. Don't, don't fail me now. Oh my goodness, just a little hesitant. Yeah, we're on route. All right, we have someone on a scooter. And let's, let's test out that narrow burrito loading zone for the last auto park of this video. Let's see how well it does. Let's see if we can get in there one shot. It's gonna be kind of tough. Actually, I can't even see it on the visualizations. All right, let's put it back in park. Where is it? Right there, let's tap that one. All right, perfect, we got it. Kind of lost it on the screen there for a second. But it's a little narrow. It's a little bit more of a challenge. Oh, it doesn't look like one shot maneuver, maybe. Wow. So, pretty good short little drive there. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have an amazing Sunday. And if you like the videos, definitely subscribe and always leave your feedback. I love the feedback. And smash that like button. See you on the next one.